is the meta data analyst professional certificate actually worth it that's what we're going to be talking about in this video and we're going to go over it in great detail first we're going to start with an overview of the course then we're going to talk about the time to completion so how long it takes you to actually complete the certificate then we're going to talk about the cost the demand yeah. the salary and we're also going to go over the production value of the content itself then we're going to talk about the chances of it actually landing you a job the overall value that it offers and whether or not the course is worth it with an overall score out of 10 and we're actually going to rank each one of these out of 10. So if you appreciate me going through this in-depth guide and whether this certificate is worth it for not and whether it's a good fit for you, then go ahead and gently tap that like button. So first of all, what exactly is this certificate? Well, this is a brand new certificate that just came out from one of the companies that has the most data in the entire world. In fact, there has been, you know, a lot of controversy about how much data Meta or Facebook has. But with that being said, learning how to be a data analyst from Meta is a pretty good idea considering how much data they have. And as I've talked about many times on this channel, data is now more valuable than oil or gold. And that's why you see amazing pay for positions that are related to data, even positions at the entry level. Now, by the way, I'm gonna put a link to the certificate so you can check it out by clicking the pin comment or the description below. But this is a brand new course and they basically claim that you can finish it in five months, right? So you finish this course, you get a certificate after finishing it from Meta, and they claim you can go from beginner to job ready during this period of time, and it does not require a college degree or previous experience. Plus they say it's beginner level and it is a flexible schedule, so you can take it anytime that you have free time. So these are pretty incredible claims, so we're gonna go ahead, go through a bunch of different categories and take a look at whether or not this is true. And by the way, guys, they do offer a seven day free trial, so you can actually try it out completely free. And so you can basically audit the course without having to risk any time or money. So first let's check the time to completion. They claim that it would take about five months if you do about 10 hours of work per week. Now, this is pretty incredible considering the fact that college degrees take four to five years on average, and you're typically gonna be studying probably more like 40 hours a week. And boot camps, for instance, boot camps from the company Career Foundry for the same type of career path, take about 15 to 20 hours per week, and it takes 10 months to complete them. And if you look at self-reported data on just about all of the Coursera certificates, whether it's the Google certificate, Meta certificate, et cetera, almost all of them you can complete much, much faster than what they say. So typically, if it says it's gonna take five to six months, it usually takes more like one to three months max. And in some cases, it's absolutely ridiculous where you can get it done in a few weeks. So I'm going to guess that this one takes somewhere between one to two months to complete. So that is incredibly good when you compare that to a college degree or a boot camp or any other alternative way of getting educated. So for the time to completion, I'm going to give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next, let's talk about the cost of the certificate itself. Well, first of all, there is a seven day free trial. So it really doesn't cost anything just to try it out. But after the seven day free trial, you're going to be paying about $49 a month. And let's assume that it takes you two months to complete that. So that's about $100 or around $98. If you compare that to a college degree that costs over $100,000 on average, or a boot camp that costs anywhere from $10 to $30,000, that is an incredibly good price. And to be honest, that is one of the main reasons why these Coursera certificates are so popular, because they can actually give you a pretty good chance of getting a job at an incredibly affordable price. So when it comes to the cost, you can't give this one anything other than a 10 out of 10. Next, let's talk about the demand. So let's talk about the demand for a job that you might go into if you got the certificate, which would be data analyst. So BLS doesn't have any data on data analysts specifically. They actually group that in with data scientists in general, but they do say that it's growing 35%, which is much, much faster than average. Just to put that in perspective, the average career is growing somewhere between four and 5% per year. So this one is growing about seven to eight times faster than the average career. And another thing that makes analyst type positions so valuable is when you learn how to become a data analyst, you can actually do it in hundreds of different industries. For instance, there are data analysts in healthcare. There's data analysts in real estate. There's data analysts in marketing, et cetera, et cetera. There's so many different types of data analyst related positions. And just to talk about a few of the positions that you might end up going into with this type of 
skill set. We would have data scientists, business intelligence analysts, data engineers, business analysts, marketing analytics managers, financial analysts, quantitative analysts, risks analysts, data governance analysts, data visualization engineers, and some entry level jobs would likely be data analyst, associate data analyst, or business analyst. And if you look at LinkedIn at the entry level jobs that are available for a lot of these ones that are mentioned, there are a ton of them. So all signs point to this being one of those jobs that has a ton of demand. Now, one of the downsides is it is a bit difficult to get your first entry level job when it comes to data. So even though there's a ton of demand for this position, there's demand for people who actually have the skills. And so for that, I'm going to dock at one point, but still, obviously, there's an insane amount of demand. I'm going to give this one a nine out of 10 when it comes to the demand. Next, let's talk about the salary. So according to Coursera, the median US salary for data analytics, and this is at the entry level is $82,000 a year. According to Glassdoor, data analysts make about 70 to $118,000 a year. And associate data analysts make about 73 to $119,000 a year. And business analysts make about 78 to $125,000 a year. So clearly the salary is insanely good. And considering a lot of those jobs are actually entry level. So you have to give this one a 10 out of 10 for salary. Next, let's talk about the production value and the engagement. And this is where it gets docked a little bit. Now, I will say this part is extremely subjective and it really has to do with the personalities of the instructors and how responsive they are with the needs of the enrollees. And this is a brand new course, so there's not that many reviews on it so far. But with that being said, Coursera has set an absolutely ridiculously high standard when it comes to the quality of their courses. And I have found that some of the other courses can sometimes be a little bit better. And so for that reason, and because of the fact that you know, there's just not that much data out there. I can only give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. However, if I changes once we get a bunch of reviews and stuff like that in the future, I will have to update this part. Next, let's talk about its chances of landing you a job. Now, being able to finish this course actually grants you access to secret job boards that you only have access to if you finish these certificates. And this is an extremely highly in-demand career. But with that being said, you do have to know your stuff, right? They're not just gonna hand you a job just because you say you know data analytics, you have to prove that you know it. You sure about that? That's why? And so taking the certificate and getting it is a really big step and it's gonna help you quite a bit. Being able to put it on your resume and on your LinkedIn profile is going to make a difference. And in some cases, recruiters will actually search and find you through the certificate itself. And if the algorithm detects it in your resume or on your LinkedIn profile, you are more likely to get discovered. Plus on top of that, it just looks really good in general to have this on your resume. But with that being said, you are definitely going to need to also have a portfolio. Now, the great thing is some of the projects that they have you do are portfolio projects. So you can just put those on your portfolio, but you're likely gonna have to do a little bit of extra studying and a little bit of extra work to make something original and make a really nice portfolio if you wanna be able to land a job without a college degree or previous experience. So with that being said, chances of landing you a job here, you definitely do have a puncher's chance, but with that being said, you probably have to do more than just the certificate itself. I'm gonna give this one an eight out of 10 when it comes to landing a job. Next, let's talk about the overall value that it offers. So so first of all, you've got the seven day free trial, then it's $49 a month after that. And the skills that you gain on their own are definitely incredibly valuable. So they're gonna teach you SQL, Pandas, data analysis, and Python programming. And it's gonna be teaching you in-demand skills that companies actually want. That's why Coursera even did this in the first place, because a lot of these big companies, Facebook, Meta, Google, IBM, et cetera, they basically just could not find people that have the skill sets that they actually want. And so they decided to create their own certificate and their own courses to train people on the stuff that actually matters. And so the fact that you can finish this so quickly, it's so cheap, it only costs like $100 if you do the two months, and you have a puncher's chance at landing a job, you'll probably also have to do a portfolio, but you have a really good chance of landing a job, means the value here is a very obvious and clear 10 out of 10. You compare this to any other type of education, whether it's a college degree or a trade school or a boot camp, et cetera, and the value of, of this certificate is absolutely ridiculous. It just blows all the other ones out of the water. Now, with that being said, all those different types of education, in my opinion, are very similar to different types of tools. You'd use different tools for different jobs. It really depends on what you need and the outcome that you're looking for, which tool you use. And this is an incredibly good tool for the right type of person. On top of that, one thing that's amazing and it's understated about these Coursera certificates is that you can kind of sample a bunch of different careers. So you could sample the data analyst career. And if you don't like it, you can go and check out the IT career, or you can go and check out programming, or you can go and check out 
many other types of jobs that are incredibly in demand. When it comes to the value, obviously this one is a 10 out of 10 and it's really a no brainer. So the overall score is gonna be about a nine out of 10. Overall, this one is amazing. I think it's a great opportunity. There's now three different really good data analyst related certificates that you can get. Wouldn't be a bad idea to get all of them. So this one, I give two huge thumbs up. I think it can give you a huge advantage. It gives you access to things that you would not be able to have access to otherwise. With that being said, only time will tell if it's as good as the Google Data Analyst Certificate because that one was absolutely amazing. But this is kind of the shiny new object. So people who get these certificates really quickly are usually the ones who end up getting jobs from them. So because of the fact that this one just came out, I would say get on it as fast as you can. And by the way, I did make a video on the best Coursera and Google related certificates and it's a tier list video. So I basically talk about all of them and I rank them from the best, which is S tier, which to the worst, which is F tier. And you can check that video out by clicking right here.